Hey guys, this is Josh. My name is Chris. And we are going to play a game today. Heck yeah! <laughs> Woo! So we have another bat rep for you guys. Today we are playing Big Guns Never Tire. Yes. I'm bringing my Astro Militar arm. Chris is bringing his... By Imperial Knights are looming in the distance. Very nice. 2,000 points. I am at 1988. What do you have for points? Uh, 1993. Ah, so pretty evenly matched. Five points away, right? I am at 110 power level. What I'm at, at 99 power level. Okay, so power level is a little bit different, um, yeah. but it'll be a fun game, right? So again, big ne big guns never tire is you score a point for each heavy support yep. that you kill, right? Yep. I right now have three heavy support choices, I believe. How many do you have? Three, also. Look at that. Pretty no, no, I'm actually the the knights are lords of war, so I actually don't know that they count. Oh man, so I, I might just have to wait until the end, because also you also score points. So at the end of the game, the objective markers are worth three points each. So we have four objective markers on the board. We'll show them to you during the, I guess, first round. Um, and yeah, so can I sit it out? I'm looking forward to the game, man. Yeah, this yeah. is going to be great. Thank you so That'll much. That'll be fun. Josh. Cool. All right. Well, good luck, man. Thanks. You and too. And we'll go through our deployment here in a second. All right. I'm going to go through my astromaritime list for you guys. So starting off over here, I have a Torox with twin auto cannons. And there's actually three Bulgrens in here with power mauls and uh, brute shields. Moving down the line here, we have a Executioner Tank Commander with plasma cannons on the sides and a hull-mounted LAS cannon. Back in the back back here, we have a Hydra with auto cannons. And then we have a Void Shield right here, giving everybody within 12 inches a 4-up invuln. Up to the top here, we have a um, Primaris Psyker. He knows Gaze of the Empire, or excuse me, uh, Emperor, Emperor's Gaze, as well as, uh, excuse me, Gaze of the Emperor, and then uh, Psychic Barrier. And then off to the left over here, we have Pask with a Gatling gun, and then two multi meltas Spontoons, with a hull mounted LAS cannon. In front of him, we have a unit of 10 Guardsmen, just flat out. Off to the left of that, we have another 10, 10 Guardsmen, again, just flat. Behind them, we have a Battle Cannon, Lehman Russ, with a hull-mounted Heavy Bolter. Behind the Battle Cannon, we have two Wyverns, again, with hull-mounted Heavy Bolters. Then way off in the corner over here, we have a um, Valkyrie with three Bulgrins inside, again, with Power Mauls uh, and Brute Shields. And then with them is a Manastorm Priest. And that's it. So this is the deployment that I have elected to proceed with for my Imperial Knight Army. Uh, starting over here, we have a Knight Crusader. He has a Rapid Fire Battle Cannon, an Avenger Gatling Cannon, and then two Heavy Stubbers, which will hopefully find some sort of use throughout the course of the game. Over here, we have a Serastus Knight Lancer. Uh, his sole weapon is the lance. He has the shock lance, which has a shooting profile and a very nice melee profile. So hopefully it does some fun things over here. Uh, this is the Serastus Knight Atropos. Over here we have the Graviton Singularity Cannon, which, which does some nice black hole things from time to time. And we have the Laz Cutter, which also has a shooting and a melee profile. And then back here we have a Fire Raptor gunship. It has a uh, two quad heavy bolters, two twin Hellstrike launchers, and twin Avenger Gatling cannons in the front. And that is my army. All right, so this is the aftermath of my movement phase. The, the Crusader just sort of waddled up a little bit over here. The, the Lancer is bravely attempting to charge into the lines of everybody. His Atropos friend right next to it is also moving forward as quickly as possible. And then the Fire Raptor is hiding out here in the wings with its wings, waiting to do some interesting things. This, nice. this void shield over here is just fascinating. So it'll be really interesting to see how it all plays out. Yes. Uh, moving on to the night's psychic phase. My psychic phase is now over. Fun <laughs> phase. Fun phase. Right? That, that yeah. was fast. That was always nice. <laughs> Um, the shooting phase now, I think we'll start with the Crusader back here. Sure. So do you mind if I ask really quick how unit-wise these are divided yeah, up? Yeah, so pretty much uh, the Commissar is almost a split line. Right okay, here, so, so he's a, he's a split yep. line between yep. them. Okay, yep. cool, cool, cool. So 10 and 10. 10 and 10, all yep. right. So we are going to go ahead. 
um, put the rapid fire battle cannon on Pask. Sure. I can I can target him, yep, right? Yep, yep. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll put the Avenger Gatling cannon on this. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're good. This unit of Imperial Guardsmen over here. Okay. And we'll put both heavy stubbers into them as well. Sure. Sounds good. Cool. All right. So I'll roll the uh, rapid fire battle cannon. It's two d six shots. All right. I have six shots. Nice. Um. And so I'm hitting on threes. So we have four hits. That's good. Uh, and then it's strength eight versus toughness. T8. T8. All right, yep. fours. Fours. Wounding on fours. So we have one wound. One. Right. And that's AP minus two, I think. I'm just going to double check to be sure. And yes, that's minus two. OK. So I am fully within the void shield, so I will do a four up in vulnerable. Cool. Nope, he takes one. How many damages are there? It's D3 damage per wound. D3, all right. Two damage. Two damage. All right, so that brings him down from 12 to 10. All right. And then moving to the Avenger Gatling Cannon, that is heavy 12. So here's 6, 12. So hitting on threes. Uh, there's three misses. And then this is strength six. Our guardsmen are toughness three, right? Yeah, the tough three. It's twos. All right, twos. Ooh. All right, so that is, should be seven wounds. Right. AP minus two. AP minus two. All right, so four of invuln here. Yeah, that invuln is nice. So that'll be four. Four dead. Okay. And then I'll just run right into the heavy stubbers because they're simple. And that is, yeah, that's three shots a piece in two of them. So hitting on threes, wounding on threes because it's strength four. Essentially just a bolt gun. Yeah. All right. So that is four, four. wounds. No AP. All right, still four up in Vaughn here. Okay. What's the standard save for guardsmen? Five up. Five up, okay, yeah. cool. Yep. All right, so I lose another one. Let's see here. Uh, this guy. All righty. So that is it for the shooting on the Crusader. Uh, we'll move just down the line here with the, the Knight Lancer. The range on his shooting profile is only 18 inches. No way, all right. So but he can still reach out and touch some things. What's the toughness of the Void Shield Generator? Ooh, great question. So, let me look it up real quick. Okay. Oh, man. Just had it. I believe it's T9, if I'm not Ooh, mistaken. That's so a that's, buff. That's probably not right. So the void shield is T8. 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 All right. So cool. Just like a tank. So uh, still sort of fruitless for me to shoot at it, amusingly enough. Yeah, it's 18 wounds too. Yeah, it, yeah. it's 18 wounds. This, yeah. The the shock lance's shooting profile is really just this digital almost. Oh, it's heavy okay. six, it's, uh, strength six. Okay. So so we'll just pour some more shots into that uh, poor guardsman's squad oh, yonder. Kill my guardsman. All right. So All right. We'll, we'll we'll keep firing at them. So heavy six hitting on threes. So that's three misses. Oh, a couple All twos. Right. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Four. Four misses. Okay. Oh, man. All right. Uh, wounding on twos. I'm just making sure I'm looking at the right thing. Yeah, shock lance. Yeah, definitely wounded. Yeah. yeah. Strength six. Yeah, strength six. Good. Nice. All right. Two, two wounds. More. Four ups. Ooh, all right. One dies. All right. This guy way off to the yonder. Right okay. Uh, so that's it for the shooting for the Lancer. The Knight Atropos, he, the shooting profile for the last cutter is only nine inches. Man. So you got you to gotta be like right there for that to be of any use. So we will shoot at the, the really cool looking the executioner. executioner tank. All right, sounds and, good. Oh, wait, wait. I am going to use the Graviton Singularity Cannon first, though. Okay. All right, so Graviton Singularity Cannon. First, I have to roll a D6. On a one, I take a mortal wound. Ooh. And on a six, it doubles in strength and damage. 
Okay. So black holes do random things. I no take a mortal way. wound. All right. So he is down to 26 wounds. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you what, I got a nice little... Oh, I appreciate that. Here. Nice. So, 20... You don't want 8, you want 20. Yeah. And then you said 26? 26. Oh, my gosh. All so, right. hopefully he'll he'll do some good things for a while. So, the, the shot continues as normal, thankfully. Okay, cool. All right, so this is hitting on threes. Uh, it's three hits. And it's strength 8 versus toughness 8. Yep. So, fours. All wounds. Cool. And that is AP minus three, so cool. the so void up. shield. Yeah. All right, so one goes through. That's What's the damage? Three on? damage. Three damage. All right, so he is down to nine then. All right. And then our dear, dear last cutter shooting. Just heavy one. Didn't make it. All right. No way. All right. Cool. So then over to the fire raptor gunship. Do do some good, man. I'm I'm praying. Believing you. All right. Um, what's the strength of the the cool Hydra? What's its toughness? I think it's only T six. Yeah, T six. Thank you for a answering my my endless questions in the interview. No, man. You got to. You got to. Yep, T six. T six. All right. Cool. Uh, in which case. Uh, so declaring all the shots, we have the Twin Avenger Bolt Cannon, which is heavy 10. That will shoot at the Hydra. Okay. Uh, two Twin Hellstrike launchers. Those are going to go for Pask. Sure. And then the one quad heavy bolter will go for, for this poor squad over here. Okay. And then the other quad heavy bolter um, will go for... The, this executioner over Sounds here. Sounds good. All right. Did you forget your shots at Pask before? I think you declared shots at Pask, but never rolled for him. The other one. I did shoot at him. I shot at him with the Avenger, okay. with the Nothing rapid went, fire battle cannon. I thought through, he took huh? two wounds. You know what? Put on the wrong guy. That there makes you go, sense. Man. Okay, All right. cool. All right, I'm there glad we, we caught right, that because cool. I'm just right, like, wait, deal. why is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes right. a lot more sense. Go ahead All with right. your, your shots over here. All right, cool. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to start with the uh, the quad. Uh, Wishful thinking. Vulcans. Bul right? <laughs> oh, geez. Hopefully All something right. good comes of this. So quad heavy bolters. So I'll start with the squad over on the side. Okay. So this is heavy 12. All right, so this is. Hitting on threes. Beep. Wow, man. One to twos, man. That's that's a lot. That's cool. All right, these things happen. These things happen. I'm fine with that. It's all right. Rob always rolls sixes with them. <laughs> I need some of that mojo. <laughs> so then over here, this is uh, strength five versus toughness three, so threes. Yeah. All right, yeah. so that's five wounds. Cool. All right, four up again. Two die. Yeah, they are hanging in there. I know, man. The void shield generators are great. Yeah, they, they work pretty well. Void shield generators are just pure magic. So I'll do the other quad heavy bolter, and hopefully something happens with that on the executioner there. So heavy 12, hitting on threes. Boop. All right. And then wounding on fives, because it's five versus eight, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Cuckoo. So. Fives and sixes. Oh, cool. Go well, there's, there's solid three. Solid nice. three. All right. Cool. All right. AP? AP minus one. Minus one. Okay. So still four up either way. Uh, so two go through. Two go through. That's just one damage a piece. Okay. So he's down to eight. Then. All right. Cool. Uh, we'll go on the, the tw uh, twin Avenger bolt cannon, heavy 10 into the Hydra. So that is 10 right there. Threes. Beep. So that's eight hits. Uh, strength six. So fours, right? Because it's toughness six, right? Into the Hydra. Oh, in the Hydra? Yep, that's correct. All right, cool. So looking for fours. Pew. Man, wow, one. Wow, man. Oh, man, Ooh. goodness. Getting lucky. All right, so one wound. One wound. AP? 
AP minus two. All right, saved. Cool. Yeah, with, with, definitely. With, definitely with a six. Yeah, it, if right, you got right. a save, six is going to cover it. That's right. Uh, all right. Then last but not least is two twin Hellstrike launchers. So it's a total of four shots uh, going into Pask. All right. So hitting on threes. Three hits. Strength eight versus toughness eight. So yep. fours. Two Ooh. wounds. All right. AP minus three, but okay. it's the void so shield. Four, right. One goes through. All right. Three damage. Ooh, no. Oh, he's down to five. It's less than half. Oh, so does that take him into the next bracket? That takes him into the next bracket. All right. Cool. Um, so yeah, that is that is all the shooting I have. Assaults. Assault phase. All right. So super super logically, my knight lancer will charge this guard squad right here. The full pretty looking one. Very nice. Uh, I will obviously Overwatch. <laughs> what? Uh, the atropos will charge the executioner, and that'll be it for assaulting. Cool. Oh, right. I, I don't know if I stated this at the beginning, but the Lancer is my warlord. Okay, good to know. Yes. Cool. And, and his trade is the, the charge one, because the, the knights don't have cool, fancy rules yet, so it's just the general ones. Okay. So Overwatch with the guardsmen will be uh, 19 here. That is a, a lot of pew pew. Yeah, so within 12 inches, rapid fire. All right, cool. All right, wow, a lot of ones and twos. A fair number of sixes out of there, too. Yeah, a fair number of sixes. All right, hit on the fours here. Okay. That's sixes, you're overwatching. Oh, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oops, I guess that was a six. Okay, cool. Oh, man, definitely sixes here. Yeah. Nothing. Okay. All right, cool. So we got to see if he makes it. So, get in there, man. All oh, right. yeah, you're in. <laughs> He's in. All right, cool. All right. So, um, so he'll charge to here. Yes. Yes. Cool. Cool. All right. Uh, then the Atropos will charge the Executioner. All right, so D6 shots for the... Uh, Overcharging? Top. Oh, nice. Oh, no, definitely not overcharging. Oh, okay. And then D3 for the ones on the sides. So that'll be two and two, so 10 shots. 10 shots, cool. Just roll them all at the same time. 10 point. scary plasma shots. Whew. Ooh, hitting on sixes, though. All right, all right. Two. All right. Strength seven. Toughness eight. Toughness eight. All right, fives. Ooh, two. Hey, nice. Uh, AP minus three. AP minus three. All right, so the Atropos has a four up invulnerable against shooting. So, one, save one. One goes through. That's one damage. And then for the last cannon, give me a six. Nope. All right, so that's one damage you said? Yep. All right, so this so is. So down to 25. Where's the five? There you are. Cool. Cool. All right, so then he also needs to make it All in. All right. Four inches. Five inches. Got it. Look at All that. All right. Riding it close on this and bloop. So um, I have charged with my Atropos here, and I have consolidated towards the Torox in order to try to lock him up in a little bit of close sure, combat. Sure. I cannot touch him, though. It is dishonorable. So, <laughs> so he's over there, and the, the Lancer, of course, is over here. So All right, that is good. it for charging. Fighting, I'll start with the Atropos over there. So he has four attacks. Um, yes, yeah, four attacks. And I'm going to use the Laz Cutter, not Titanic Feet. OK. So here, I, amusingly enough, in the past, I've had terrible luck with this. OK, half of them hit. That's all right. So it's two hits. It is strength, um, strength one of them. Pardon me here. Getting my head on straight. Strength 14. Wow. So it so is not double. Yeah. It is threes. Because your, your tank is tough. Oh, OK, OK. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Man, that's huge, though. Yeah. Night, night melee weapons are, are good. Oh, my gosh. One. All righty. What's the AP? 
AP minus four. Ooh, no save. Six damage. Wow. Wow. All right, he was at nine. He's down to three. That thing is nasty. It, it, it's sort of like the baseline for all Imperial Knight melee weapons. They, the, the actual melee part is a flat six damage. That's rough. Yeah, it's only really effective against like vehicles and stuff. That's why they're there. Um, over here, um, with the combat with the Imperial Guardsmen, uh, because of my Warlord trait, I get plus one attack on a charge. So that's five attacks. Okay. And I'm going to use the Titanic Feet profile. Okay. Where each uh, attack hits three times. Oh, okay. That so, makes sense. So that's Totally it. wipe out that squad. Uh, maybe. That's, that's the hope, right? That, that's the hope. But based on some of these rolls, we'll, we'll, I'm just, I'm just going to see. I'm not making any bets right now. Uh, it's sort of taken the place of like you know templates and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, where yeah, it used to sure. be stomps were insane. Yeah. So, uh, hitting on threes. Boop boop. Boop boop. This one hitting on here. So we got five misses, and it's strength eight. Yeah. So it's double so so twos. <laughs> Solid twos. All right. So we'll just suck out those ones right there. All right. So seven wounds. Yeah, I'm assuming I probably don't get a save against it. It's only AP minus two. Still don't get a save. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> I wish, man. I wish. All right. So how many is that? That's three, seven. Seven. Ooh, look at that. Still got, still got three guys left. Void shield doesn't work in melee. Nope, nope, nope. I wish. I wish void shield worked in melee. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll leave the sergeant. Cool. Cool. Guess what? I get to attack back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the tank, he gets one lonely attack. He's hitting on a six. Okay. Nope, nothing. Aw. All right, and then my guys will pile in. Get in there. Get on in there, guys. Uh, three inches. So. For the emperor. Also for the Ooh. emperor. However, this is working lower wise. Cool. So four attacks. Two for the sergeant. Two for the regular guardsman. Cool. All right. Yes. Should be hitting on fours here. And then definitely sixes. It's got to be sixes. Nothing. It's always worth trying. It's, yeah, it's always, always like that worth last trying. hit point where it's just like, oh man. Guy Snuck climbing in. up, trying to tear apart some hydraulics right. or something. Th there's cables on the back. That's right. That's, it's a design oversight on the part of the Mechanicum. All right. So I think that's the end of combat, right? Yeah. All, All right. right. So yeah, that's the end morale? of the morale. Morale phase. So obviously the tank, not taking any morale. No. Um, so the guardsmen, they lost seven. Seven guys. Yeah. So. So definitely be above. Oh, actually, it's not. It's right on. Wow, nice. Seven plus one equals eight. Cool. And then there's squad that other on. squad over there. Yep. And then the other squad lost eight. They lost eight. Ooh. All right. So I do have a commissar mm -hmm. within six inches. So I just lose one guy. Cool. All right. Leaving the sergeant. Cool. So I think that will be my turn one. I'm gonna come back. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, so Astro Militar, turn one. Did a lot of shimmying around. Probably doesn't look like I moved much, but go ahead and review it for you. So the Valkyrie moved exactly 20 inches up because if you move more than 20 inches, when my Bulgarians here disembark, they would have to take a test on roll of a one. They would be slain. So move 20 inches, disembark the Bulgarians as well as the Minister and Priest. I went ahead and shimmy back my sergeant there to block the other tank. I pulled my other... Uh, infantry squad out of combat as well because you know they would have probably died. Um, tanks really all sat tight that way they don't have that minus one. Uh, the plasma executioner though pulled back out of combat barely. Um, I had to shimmy things around over here. Um, the Bulgarians disembarked from this Torox and the Torox kind of moved away and then I went ahead and deep struck or you know the new rules for deep strike uh, a unit of scions here with two Meltas. And that's pretty much it for my movement. So jumping into psychic phase, I do have one psyker, first time using them. So I think we're just going to cast a mite. 
on the primary siker. So primary siker, close small within 18 inches will be this guy right here. So let's go ahead and try to cast it. And it goes off on a six. Nice. You have anything to stop it? No, no. Okay, <laughs> all right. So smite will just be D3 mortal wounds. Two. Two. All right. So let's shimmy that over to three. That was convenient. Cool. Alrighty, that's it for my psychic um, shooting. So tank orders. So I will issue a couple tank orders here. I have two tank commanders still. So I can issue full throttle gun gunner's kill on sight or strike and shroud. Um, I will go ahead and issue gunner's kill on sight. So I will issue gunner's kill on sight from this tank commander to Pask. Ooh. So he's going to get to reroll ones. Nifty. Yeah. So, let's see here. How do I want to divide these shots? My multi meltas will go into, I think I want to put it in that other knight there. They have a range of 24. Oh, handy. So 12 inches would be multi range. You know, what, I'm going to put the multi meltas into this guy. Okay. Uh, last cannon as well into him. Cool. Um, and then I think we're going to go ahead and do the, the Punisher and do them too. Why not? Oh, man. All right. Yeah. So everything into them. All Buckle right. down, Atropos. Last cannon. So with, uh, with his profile, normally Pask would be hitting on twos. But since he's down to a lower profile, he should be hitting on threes, if I'm not mistaken. So I want to quickly look that up. So, yep, he's hitting on threes since he's at four to six wounds. Cool. So, threes, reroll ones for the last cannon. Last cannon hits. Nice. Um, I need a three, right? Because you're T8? Yep. All right, it wounds. All right, so that is a four up invuln against shooting, which we make. Got it. Look at that. All right. All right, multi melt this. Let's go ahead and shoot these bad boys. So, they are heavy one. Getting reroll one. Oh yeah, both hit. Nice. And then only on fours. So one goes through. One goes through. All right. Come on, man. I believe in you. Yeah. Look at that. All right. So uh, last one we have here is the puncher. So 20 shots from that bad boy. <laughs> oh my goodness. So many shots. It's beautiful. All right. So hit on threes again, we rolling ones. I know. We rolling ones here, so I'll take these guys out. Cool. So it's really and just the twos that yeah, are excluded. Just twos I miss now. All those five twos. All right, put these off to the side. Cool. We roll these guys. Two more miss. All right. It's a lot of hits. Yeah, strength five though. Right. Okay. So I need five to wound you. And these are going to be AP dash, right? So, so you got six, looks like? Six wounds, right? So AP dash? AP dash. Right, so three up armor then. We failed two. Three. Three, all right. I can count sometimes. All right, so that's uh, how many damage a piece? Just one. Just so one you're down to 20. All right, so we'll just take off that die. Cool. Look at Convenient. Bloop. All right, uh, next order. Pass is going to issue, you know what? He can't issue any orders. That tank, that can't, tank can't shoot. So I'll go ahead and issue um, the same order to this Lehman Russ here. Cool. He's actually going to target the same tank with both weapons. Uh, and the heavy bolter. I believe in you, Aunt Chappelle. <laughs> Hang in there. All right, so heavy bolter. Let's shoot that first. Only one hits. Strength five. Ooh, hey. look at that. Cool. Got a wound. So that's, uh, what's this, AP? AP that's minus a, one. Minus one, all right, so four is either way. What you make? Look at that, got it. And then the battle cannon. This is the one I'm really scared about. Uh, battle cannon, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of it this edition. It's heavy D6. Okay. So three. Three shots, solid. And then these are going to be hitting on fours. Oh, look at that. Ooh. And then there's strength eight. So fours again. Fours again. Look at that. All Whoa. three. All right. Eight That's, minus two. Those threes are meant to be. All right, so we'll go with the Invuln Ionic Flare Shield. 
of which only one is saved. Wow, all right. So they are going to be D3 damage each? All right. Oh, three damage total. Three damage. All right, down to 17 on him. Down to 17. Let's see if I can find the 17 on here for you. So it's cra it crazy randomized D20s. I know, I know. Cool. All right. Got a little bit more shooting. <laughs> a, a lot of bit more yeah, shooting. Yeah, a lot of bit, a lot of bit. Um, we are going to go ahead and shoot the Hydra here with its quad auto cannons. So the Hydra has, it's going to be heavy eight. So All eight right. shots with that guy. Cool. And he actually gets... Add one to all hit rolls. So I get uh, to all hit rolls, period? Yep. For, well, three is for air targets. For so air I'm going to go ahead and target um, with the auto cans. I'm going to target your flyer here. And then with the heavy bolter, I'll just target the same. Okay. Right. Cool. So, so hitting on threes. That's pretty good. That's really good. And then auto cannon will be strength seven. Right. Strength seven versus toughness seven. Cool. Of course. Oh, pretty good. Very AP nice. minus one. AP minus one. All right, yep. so this is a four up armor. Come on, man. I saved two. All right, the two damage piece. Two damage piece. So he goes from something to something. Sorry, give me a second. <laughs> uh, wounds 16. All right, so, so he's, he's down, down to 14. 14. 13. Are there one damage a piece? Oh, sorry, sorry, two damage piece. Two, two damage, damage piece. piece. So he's down to 12. 12, all right. Let's see here. Tell you what, we'll just put two Persian dice on it. Hey, good looking. Cool. Nice. All right, and then the heavy bolter from him. Going into that. There's a sneaky five over here. Ah, thank you. Yeah. And then heavy bolter into the knight. Hit on fours. Strength five. Need some fives here. Nothing. Okay. Or the shot. Literally. Aha. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I like it. <laughs> All right, so the Wyverns. The Wyverns are interesting, right? Because usually they shoot infantry. All you guys knights. So I just got to pump a bu bunch of shots into knights. So, um, cool. They don't need line of sight, do they? They don't. Exactly. Not, not for the mortars, anyway. Right. The storm shard mortars. So storm shard mortars, actually everything's going to pump into that knight we've been <laughs> at all the time. <laughs> all right. right. So these are actually 46 shots. So that would be six, uh, seven. That makes 13. Cool. A little bit different than templates. For, for a second, I understood you were saying 46 shots. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, 4d6 yeah, shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 40, yeah, not 40. No. <laughs> All right, so we're hitting on fours here again. OK. That wasn't a four. Ooh, only five. OK. All right, this one here. So strength four. So, so two, five, sixes. sixes. One. One. AP? AP dash. All right, so three up, made it. Oh, man. All right, uh, heavy bolter into them as well. And then fours, look at that. Three nice. Fours. Cool, cool. Need fives here. One. Just one. All right. All right. Look at that, all set. All right. Man, they're all T8, right? Yeah, yeah. I have everything is T8 except for the Fire Raptor. All right, I got I to pump all the other shots into them, too. Okay. Hopefully, uh, try it again. So 10, 15 Ooh, total shots. A little better. One last time. All right, and then fours again. OK. You know what I forgot to do last time? They re-roll failed to wound rolls. Oh, so okay. sixes. Nope. Re roll. Yeah. Re roll that whole bunch. I know. If, if right? you want to re roll no, some. No, no, no. It's one. all good. It's okay. All good. All right. Two. Two. All AP right. dash. AP dash. All right. Threes. None. Wow, look at that. Just one damage each. All right. Down so to 15. Down. Yep. I just want to check his profile just to make sure I know when he starts getting more sad. Have you both turned on two, obviously? Fives here. So one more AP minus one. All right, fours. Didn't make it. Look at that. Another one. So he's down, down to 14. Down to 14. He's in another profile now. Look at that. Look at that. 
Cool. Auto can can shoot because he moved out of combat for the Torox. Um, shot, 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 shot. Can't shoot. My infantry squad cannot shoot. Um, <laughs> my my lone uh, the sergeant lone out guardsman. There. Let's see what he can do. Uh, he'll shoot with his little pistol. Uh, okay. Nice. You never know, man. Anything can harm me. He, he hits. hits. He hits. Give me a six. Nope. Okay. All right. Worth a shot. Yeah, always worth a shot. Always worth a shot. So I got my Valkyrie left, at least. So the Valkyrie is going to pump some shots into that knight that we kept shooting at, right? Oh, the Atropos. I know, I know. We got to. It's all about target priority, man. Truth. All right, so he has multiple rocket pods as well as a LAS cannon. But the kicker is that he gets minus one, right? Because these are heavy shots. Okay. So normally you'd be hitting on fours. Uh, LAS cannon's going to be hitting on fives now. So LAS cannon's going in. Does, do Valkyries not have the strafing run rule? No, I wish. Man. Oh, man. I wish. Okay. So, and then the rocket pods are going to go into the same night. So, okay. All cool. right, last can. And then fives. Hey. Oh, look at that. Got it. Uh, Neo three. Three? Three. Got it. All right. Come on. Four up in Vuln. Made it. All right. And then the multiple rocket pods are heavy D6. So, seven. Seven shots. These are heavy again, so hitting on fives. Ooh, nothing. Whoa, all right. Wow, all right. Let's see here. I think I think that's all I got for shooting. Nope, I got, can't forget about oh, these guys. Yes, that'd yes, be yes, bad. yes, That'd be bad. Because they got scary melta things. Yeah, they got meltas. So they're obviously not in multi-melta range. So meltas hitting on threes. Yeah, nice. Hit. Give me some fours. I kind of want to command point that. <laughs> hmm. All right. We'll command point one of them. All right. Nope. It wasn't nope. meant to be. Nope. All right. Down to five. All right. And then the, uh, got to shoot the, uh, they're not in rapid fire range. So three shots, um, hot shot last pistol and hot shot last guns. Cool. And on threes, all hits. Nice. And then, yeah, they're only string three still, so I need sixes. Oh, hey, wow, look, look at that. that. I need that for, multi -mel or the, for the multi. Or the, right? Excuse me, meltas. meltas the, the, do the hot shots have an AP value? They do. They do, actually. So they are AP minus three. Oh, right. So invuln. Mm -hmm. Invuln it up. I saved one, lost one. Nice. Excuse me, they're AP minus two. All right. Minus two. Yeah. The, that one same wouldn't same have made result, it. Same yeah. result. It was okay. a one Good. and a six, so right. extremes only. That. No, it's fine. So done to 13. All right. Cool. That is it for my shoot. Cool. Assaults. Assaults. Um, Orgrins are going to charge in to your knight there. All righty. Overwatch. So, so we'll overwatch. Hopefully something happens. Not a lot of dice. But I'm sure it will. I've got to roll to see if I blow up. I do not blow up. So that's cool. Well, not blow up. But, uh, I'll take a mortal wound. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. for your oh. Yeah, for, for the shot. Graviton Singularity yeah, right. Cannon. Okay. Every time it shoots, it has to do that. So sixes, nary a six to be seen. The Laz Cutter, nothing. All right, all right, cool. So pretty much I just. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're in. Should be How in. much do they get to shimmy around? All right, all right. They get, they get quite a bit of shimmy. They, get, they got lots of so, room. So uh, I can't move past my tank here because there's not enough room for me to move in between. But I can actually get into combat here. Cool. Cool. Um, I don't think these Bulgrins sure what my distance is here. Uh, I don't even think. Oh, they are within 12. They are within 12. And you never we know what try. happens with command rerolls. We got to try. Do yeah. it. All right. Get in there. All right, so the Bulgrins are charging? Bulgrins are charging as well. All right. So we'll see if the uh, Shock Lance does any good here. Sixes. A whole two. This is more than I was expecting. Strength six versus? T5. T5. So yep. threes. Two wounds. Two wounds. All right. This is only AP minus one, I think. AP minus one? Okay. So four up in Vuln. Cool. They have brute shields. They're not yeah. within the void shields. So. Both safe. Both All right. It. That All would right. have been bad. So they have an 11-inch charge. Just want to triple check here. Yeah. Okay. Spot on 11 inches. All right. Cool. So 11 inches. Nope. All right. Don't want to reroll it? Do I reroll both dice? Or just one, right? Just one. You know what? That's you what have the points are there for. You That's got what they're it. There for. Yeah. Nope. All right. All right. All right. Where's right. the shot? Where's the shot? All right. That's it, man.
Let's do some combat. Cool. So. Those scary bullgrins. No, go scary bullgrins. Man, it's too bad I don't have the Mana Storm and Priest on that end. I would have gotten plus one to, uh, to combat over here. So, uh, they do get plus one, though, for Avalanche and Muscle. So, Bonehead is base four attacks, Bullgrins base three. So, uh, they get five, four, and four. All right. All righty, cool. So, hitting on threes. Do it. Wow. That's a lot of doing. Wow. One miss. All right. I need it that has for been my... done. Whew. All right. Show me the same result. Swing seven here. Give me some fives. That's decent. Cool. Pretty good, too. Yeah. Four. Four. All right. AP? AP minus one. All right. So, it's fours. Uh, no, sorry. He only has a five up in bone in melee. Oh, okay. So, fours then. Oh, Missed one. One goes through. So, damage two. Damage two. All right, so he's down to 11. Uh, there we go. I believe in you. Your attack's back, man. All right, so we're going to go Titanic Feet. So, that's 3, 6, 9, 12. Hitting on fours now. Because he's down there. Bloop. Wow. All right. So it'll be easier for me to pull out the ones that actually hit. Uh, all there right. Quite a few there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That was actually yeah, about it's half. It's pretty I, average. I got, average. I got Yahtzee on the three. <laughs> so the statistical average. I don't feel yeah, so yeah, bad. Yeah. All right. Cool. So exactly half is exactly statistical average. So strength eight versus toughness. T5. 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 All right, so threes. Ooh, okay. Three. Bad. All right. Four up in vol. Saved two. Two. What's the damage of it? Uh, that is a good double check question. Titanic feet is D3 damage. Whew. All right. So two damage. All right, two damage. So there are three wounds apiece. OK. So one's down to one. All right. So put on this guy over here. Cool. Cool. That's it. No morale. No Clearly. morale. Clearly. <laughs> That'll be an easy phase for you. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's some round checks, and boom. <laughs> and done. They're here or they're not. Cool. Let's go on to your, your turn two. All right, top turn two. Sounds good. All right, so this is the aftermath of my movement at the top of turn two. We've got a, a very sneaky Night Crusader creeping up on some Militarum Tempestus units. Yeah, they're scared, man. Yeah. Like, what, what's that? <laughs> the, the, they, they came at me with melta guns. Yeah. They, they, they're, they're scary to me. <laughs> so, so he's moving around over there. Uh, the Knight Atropos did some more shimmy, shimmy, shake, shake in the land of uh, sidestepping. Yep. Um, just sort of getting himself into range of the Primaris Psyker and getting out of combat. An interesting yep. rule that I'm certain has come up before is the Knight Titan rule. They can fall back, uh, shoot, and charge without yeah, penalty that's rough. after that's rough. they do that. Uh, and then over here, the, the Knight Lancer, uh, even though it looks like he's trying to shield bash the really cool looking Valkyrie, is more interested in these uh, guardsmen, brave guardsmen, who have stood up yep. to the fire of two Knight Titans. They're brave indeed. They, I cannot knock that at all. So um, that's what's going on over there. And then over there in the corner, Almost forgotten every single time is the Fire Raptor gunship. Awesome. Hanging then you regained point. a wound, right? Yes, yes. Right. The uh, Serastus frames have the Blessed Auto Simulacra, which means on a five up, they regain one wound, which always comes up towards the end of the game. So Very nice. hopefully some things will happen. So uh, no psychic phase still. On to the shooting phase. All right, let's do this. Well, I'll start with the Atropos and, and see what happens there. Well, the Graviton Singularity Cannon, first and foremost. Roll a d6 to see if anything interesting happens. Nothing All interesting right. happens. Normal profile. Uh, the four, he has the Singularity Cannon going into Pask okay. and the Laz Cutter into the Executioner. Awesome. Sounds good. All right, so this is four shots hitting on fours. Okay. So that is two hits. Pretty good, yeah. Average. Right. Yeah, and then <laughs> wounding, wounding on fours. All right, let's fours, do this. fours on fours. Oh, look two at that. wounds. AP minus three. Oh god. Sixes. <laughs> Sixes. Oh, double. One. Snake eyes. Even worse. Oh man, that is six damage. Oh, into Pask. Into Pask. Man, if I don't, if I don't 
I gotta at least I gotta at least reroll one. That so does... otherwise, I mean, the odds are against me. But right? Nope. Right. Oh, I was close. Right. It right. wanted it. So it does he explode? It. Oh, let's see. This this will be when I roll the six. Watch. Yep. Oh my gosh! <laughs> no! Oh! Oh, that's rough. Okay. Oh, All man. right. So he does explode. He does explode. He's gonna die. So that'll be a warlord and a heavy. Okay. Kill for you. So it should be you. And first blood. And first blood. See, yeah, three point. Okay. So. Pask has exploded. Pask has exploded. Lots of yep. units within six inches. All D3, right. mortal wounds apiece. All right, so Hydra, how many wounds? Uh, all right, D3, that is two. two. All right. It's got two. All right, he will be down. Uh, go ahead and roll for the Void Shield. All right, Void Shield. D3 on the Void Shield, two. All right, Hydra's down to nine. Void Shield's down to 16. It's a buff Void Shield. Yeah. It's a tough guy. Whew. This is what happens Good when catch. you put Pask in the middle. Thanks. So he was bravely leading. He was indeed. All right, so down to 16 up here. So that will be. I still think that void shield is just beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish I could say I painted it. <laughs> <laughs> Sean painted it, actually. All right, and then the wyvern over here. D3 Point. wounds. All right, D3 mortal wounds there. Oops. One. One. All right. So he is down to 10. Got to use a different dice here. Actually, we'll steal the one off Pask. And then you can go ahead and roll for the Guardsman in front. All right, the Guardsman in front. That is two. Two. So two die. All right. Commissar. Commissar. Three. Three. Oh, man. Look at how many wounds he actually has. I think they have four. I certainly hope so. <laughs> and then go ahead and roll for, I think there's one more unit. I need to roll for my own. Uh, oh, you're post. right. You're right. Okay. So, and then for the Psyker as well. Psyker. All right. Uh, how many wounds does the Psyker have? Right. If you don't mind me asking. Yeah, I'll tell you in a second here. First time using them. So, Astro Telepathica. So, he actually has four wounds. Four wounds. All right. Cool. So, how many bring him down? That's two. Down two? Okay. Yeah. So, he's at two. All right. I'm going to roll for my own, uh, the Atropos. I'm going to spend a command point. Ooh, to reroll. So I'm going to reroll that because three, three and one go. It's a bit more than I want. So one. one. All, right. All right. I'm okay with that. So one step forward, one step back. On and a left. Which is, there we go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. This is why you always bookmark your books. <laughs> All right, cool. Go ahead. All right, so continuing sheet. on, the last cutter into the executioner does not hit. Um, all right, the. All right, this is how I'll do it. I'm going to pour. Moving on to the lancer. So he has the lance discharge. That's six shots. They are. All going at the Commissar. Awesome. All right, so hitting on threes. That is five hits. Commissar is actually dead from the three wounds that you did earlier. Oh, he only yeah. Has, he, he only, only has, has three wounds? He only has three wounds. Oh, all right. Yeah, well, so let's go ahead and redirect your shots. Back it up there. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um. So <laughs> it's just. There's just these two individual guardsmen, which are their own squad. Yeah, the sergeants just hanging out with each other. You're right. Yeah, so uh, for the lancer shooting, we'll go for the lone sergeant in front of him. Okay. So over here, that is four hits. Uh, strength six versus toughness three, so wounding on twos. That is four wounds. Yeah. He, he does get the benefits of the Void Shield, though, does he not? Ooh, he might. He's within 12, and you're not wholly within 12. Nope. So, yeah, I guess so. Miracles happen. Wow, all right. And it's, it's four ups. So Let's that's... see if it's his lucky day, huh? Do it. Nope, no, nope, okay. not at all. All right, all right. All right. That's, that's one dead guardsman. He, uh, he tried. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> Every right. little bit helps. That's right. Okay, so... Um, he's shot, he's shot. 
As long as we're over here, we'll just handle it. The fire raptor will do some fire raptor things. All right, sure. Uh, I don't think I can see. I don't think I can see any of these Bolgren or uh, minister, whatever you call minister it. Minister and priest. Minister That's and priest. Right. Thank you. I'm just like it's, it's something along those lines. So it, I'm not even gonna bother with that because okay. that would just be a little right. little edgy for me. So we will put some shots into. All right, all right. Here's how we're gonna do this. The twin Hell Strike launchers are gonna go at this wyvern okay. right here. The quad heavy bolters will go at the Valkyrie. And the twin Avenger cannons will go at the Valkyrie as well. All right, so I will start with the twin Hellstrike missile launchers. It, does the wyvern get the benefits of the void shield? It does. It should. Definitely within 12 inches here. They do, yep. And okay, cool. Outside. All right, cool, cool. Just want to make sure. So we're hitting on the threes. So that is three hits. And it's toughness eight. T6. T6. Actually, All right, threes. T6. Threes. So that is one. Oh, one. Still one. <laughs> one. All right. All right. AP? Uh, AP three. Okay. So yeah, you, you got a four up. All right. So void shields. Void shields are great. Void, void shields what are I, What I'm learning here is that void shields are fantastic. Yeah. yeah. I want more void shields in my life. So quad heavy bolters, uh, we'll just start with that because it's probably not going to be super effectual against the Valkyrie, but you never know. So each one is 12 shots, and there are two quad heavy bolters. So that is a total of 24. Wow. OK, so. It's a lot of dice, man. It's, it's a lot. I am only hitting on fours, though. OK. Because he's, your Valkyrie is supersonic, right? Valkyrie is supersonic. All right. It's a flyer. So fours. Bloop. Whew. That's a lot of, it's not as good as I expect it to be. Actually. Nah. Yeah, this I is this, low average. Yeah. This is probably not going to do a lot, because it's only strength five, because they're just bolters. That is an incredible number of ones, I must say. Valkyrie is T7, too. All right, yeah. so fours. I, I want to make sure I'm getting things right here. Sure. So it's a heavy weapon. Mm -hmm. I need to make sure that this doesn't have some wonky things going on here. So if it's a heavy weapon um, and you're moving, right? Yeah, I don't Unless think it's a special rule. Yeah, I don't think one. it has uh, mm -hmm. special rules. So it's only fives. So I'm only hitting on fives with that. Oh, because it'd be minus two, right? Because it's minus yep. two, because yep. it's hard to hit. And, and I don't get the moved. benefits of strafing yep. run. So pull out two more. All right. So we've worked our way down to seven. All right. Seven hits, wounding on fives. Oh, you still got three there. All right, that's three. All right, AP minus one. All right, four ups here. Look at that. All three go through. All right, so that's three. Three damage. damage. All that's right. heavy bolter. Cool. Uh, so he'll be down to uh, 11 wounds. All right. So hopefully. Some more stuff goes on here. So we got the Twin Avenger can Gatling Cannon hitting on fives. Uh, now that I've worked that out correctly. So that's four hits. And this air battle is su suitably with me. I know, I know. All right, so this is uh, a dog fight we have going on here. Right? That's six, seven, you said, for the Valkyrie, right? Correct. All right, yeah, so this is seven. still fives. All right. Still fives. So solid nothing. All right. Cool. All right, so you tried Fire Raptor. It's OK. I still love you. <laughs> uh, and then last but not least, the Crusader over here. OK. So he's going to put both heavy stubbers into the mm, into the science. Science. OK, yeah, yeah science. Sense. I'm like, what's Make the best way to call them? All right, so. Sion's over there. Rapid Fire Battle Cannon will go into the Executioner. OK. Um, it isn't necessarily an awful lot. Super de duper visible. No. Yeah, you, you took out a lot of the big things already. Um, so we'll, we'll just put the Avenger Cannon into the Sion's as well. Sure. All right, so we'll start with the Heavy Stubbers. So hitting on threes. Bloop, bloop. Four versus T3. T3. So three right, is, still yeah. threes. Mm -hmm. All right, so I need three. So that's three wounds, no AP. OK, cool. Should have a four up 
here, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a while since I used my scions. Yep, four. Cool. So one dies. One dies. All right. And moving down here. There's an Avenger Gatling cannon, so that's 12 shots. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so threes. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, this is six versus three, so we're wounding on twos. All right, that's five wounds and AP minus two. Wow, all right, show me some sixes. All right. Nope, they're gone. Uh, Just as I put my little marker down to, to remind me that they had need to take morale. All right. That, I guess that simplifies it. That's right, least. simplifies it. <laughs> all right, cool. All right, uh, and then the rapid fire battle cannon into the executioner. Sure. So that's 2d6 shots. That's pretty good. I'm going to spend a command point. Oh, I'm going to spend right, a command point. Right. So just to make sure that I have it straight, I reroll one die. Mm -hmm. So yep. I'm going to definitely take this one Makes re sense. that. You want to reroll the four? All, All right. right. A little bit better. Okay, yeah. so we worked our way up to shots. eight. Yeah. Need every little bit of help yeah, to, right. to get under that void Doesn't shield. Hurt. So hitting on threes. Bull. I mean, I'm glad because only three hit. A wounding on fours. All right. So that's two wounds. All right. Whoa. Ooh. One. What, what damage would they cause? D3. Reroll. Nope. Still one. All right. All right, D3 damage. Okay. Five or six is gone. Oh, my gosh. Come on, man. Do work. All right, two. 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 He's got one right. left. He's got one left. All right. Cool. So that is it for shooting for me. All right. So, uh, assault phase, got some charging action over here. I am going to charge this very scary Lehman Russ okay. with the Lancer. All right, we're gonna watch. Yes. I, I'm also going to declare against the Bulgrens. Okay. So, multi-charge there. Sounds good. I, do you mind if I, I check really quick to yeah, see if I can even get there? Go so, I'm just going to put my finger there yeah, to see yeah, if I can even get in. Oh, that, that, that works. works. So can the model, actually the model, well, well, I think you could get in. All right, yeah. so he, with, with some work, he can do it. Yeah, with some work, yeah I think it. you could do it. OK, cool. cool. Thank you. No problem. All right, so the heavy bolter, show me sixes. Nope, not at all. Uh, D6 shots from the bow cannon, four. All right. Show me some sixes here, nothing. OK. And right. do the Bullgrins have any ranged weapons? No, they do not. They okay. do not. All right. <laughs> I wish, man. So, so you need two inches for the battle tank, Lehman Russ, and then you need, looks like a six. Cool. For the Bulgrins. All right, so six for magic, two for normalness. Four. All right. So you'll definitely be able to get in battle with the Lehman Russ. You're right. Now, now the question is, with my start of phase three inches, can I shimmy my way into oh, the consolidation? Yeah. Only if they're close. Okay, cool. Judges ruling only if That sounds right. good to me. All right, so he'll just run right on in there. Bloop. Yup, we're gonna. Okay, all right. All right, cool. Stay. Good, Lancer. All right, over here with the Atropos, we're going to charge <laughs> the Executioner, the Bulgren, Ogren things, Bulgren, yep. and the Psyker. All right, all right, sounds good. So, so I'm going to cover my bases. All right, so the Executioner will shoot first. Last cannon. Oh, Ooh. yeah, all right. Show me, all Ooh. right, wounds. All right, come on, four up. Maybe. Oh, man, all right. D6 shots for the top, Ooh. six. Ooh. Uh, D3 for the sides, uh, two and one. So nine shots. My goodness. We're off to a scary start. Sixes. Oh, three. Pretty decent. All right. And I need fives. One. One. All right. So, four up. did not make it. Oh, so that's Wait. just one damage. 
Just one. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. And then the, does the Psyker have a, a ranged weapon? He does. He does. Should just be a loud pistol if I'm not mistaken. So, <clears throat> just roll for it. Nope, nothing. OK, cool. So I'm just going to run to see how much we have to work with. Seven inches. We can, we can make some wiggling happen Yeah. with that. Just going to yeah. work my way yeah. over here. Thank you, Josh. Yep, yep, yep. So here, seven inches, I can reliably say that I'm within an inch of everybody. Cool. Cool. All right. Cool. All right. So we, we just remembered that I cannot actually affect the really, really nice Psyker up top. Yeah, he's, he's a lucky man. He's a lucky <laughs> man. So he, he's on the second floor of a ruin, and night titans, they, they don't climb. Cool. So we'll just have the Bulgrins and the Executioner in combat. So I'll so, tell you what. I think I'm going to spend my last two command points. I think we're going to interrupt your charge. Right, so I have to attack first. Though. That's right. That's right. Oh, man. I wish I could. I wish I could. All right. Go for it. All right. So here's, here's what we're going to do. How many wounds does the uh, tank have left? The tank has one. One. Just wounds. one. All you need is get one. All right. So <sighs> decisions. Pardon me while I consult my rules really quick. Yeah, you pretty much just need to allocate one weapon. Too, All right, right? so yeah. we're going to do one last cutter attack All onto right. the Executioner and three Titanic feet okay. onto the Bullgrins. That makes sense. All right, sure. so we'll start with the Executioner. Now, this, this is the rule for the Atropos last cutter in melee. You may re-roll failed hit rolls and wound rolls for the weapon against targets with the monster, building, or vehicle keyword. There it is. All right. So th this comes under the heading of its uh, extinct, like macro extinction protocols. This okay. this knight was originally developed solely for war against big things. Yep. So it's there it's it going to do man. that. So we're we're hitting on a four. I'm really glad we're re-rolling that one. <laughs> My goodness! Oh man! He's still in it. The tank so, is still alive. So I cannot spend a command point to re-roll that. Correct? Yeah. No. Oh yeah, because so you can't. Yeah. You can't re-roll re-rolls. Yep. That's fine. Such is life, and I'm okay with that. It's all right. My bullgrins are about ready to be squashed right now. We'll, we'll see. Feet. All right. So, so fours. All right. So that is six hits. Eight versus T five. T five. Threes. Oops. So we got three. All right. AP. AP minus two. Okay. So four up involved. Ooh, two. Two. So that this is, one dies. That one dies, and then it's just a D3. Ooh, sorry. Above and beyond. Titanic feet. Yeah, that's D3. Three. Oh, another three. Ah. All right. So two dead. Two dead. All right. Um, so w did you want to attempt to counter attack no, now? No, no, oh, no. Okay. All. all right, that's fine. So then on to the Lancer, we're going to, we're just going to go with, since he charged, he gets the plus one attack from four. Sure. So he's going to do all Lance attacks. Okay. So with the Lance, you may re-roll failed to hit rolls with the weapon if the Serastus Night Lancer successfully charged in your charge phase. So he's going to attack the Lehman Russ. Over there, so we're hitting on threes, re-rolling failures. All right, so that's four hits. And the lance is strength plus six, so 14. All right, still need threes. Still need threes. T8. T8. OK, so that's two wounds Cool. at AP minus four. Oh, all right. Those two wounds damage. Six damage. apiece, so 12 oh, total. Really? Wow! You just took out a tank in one go. Holy moly. 12 damage. Right? So the land. Wow, okay, all right. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see if he explodes. That thing is nasty. And he explodes. It explodes! And he explodes! Explosions for days! Oh my god. Yeah, what did you put in your tanks? What is going on? Bunch of Promethean, man. 
<laughs> so you got you got both wyverns, right? Um, and then the Bulgrins and the priest and the flyer. What happens when you destroy something right in the middle? My goodness. And himself. Yeah. Right, yeah, I, I'm and, taking And your knight, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and roll. So right, for so one of the wyverns? One of the wyverns. All right, so that's... Is, is it D3 mortal wounds for that one as D3. well? D3. All yeah. right, so D3 mortal wounds. That's two. Two. So he's down to eight. All right. The next wyvern? Next wyvern. That is three. Three. He's down to eight as well, because they start off with 11. Uh, Bulgrins. Bulgrins. One. One. Okay. That's good. Uh, one of them is down to two. The priest? A priest. That is also one. All right. The priest has four wounds. I'll double check. But why do Valkyrie? Valkyrie. D3. That is two. Two. All right. So he will be down to nine. All right. And then for my own Knight Lancer, that is three. Awesome. Cool. So I've taken three wounds. I'm down to 24. <sighs> Man, that thing is nasty. It, it's the one thing it was built for. Yeah. Destroying tanks in one go. Good so, golly goodness. Cool. Priest is down to two. All right. Cool. Uh, shimmy my hand back here. Shimmy, shimmy, shake, shake. There we go. Cool. All right. Um, that is it for melee. I Are forgot. you sure? You want to destroy anything else? I, w <laughs> I would love to. I don't have the ability to warp time like that. I don't have chaos shenanigans like that. So I guess that's Morale? it. Morale, yeah. Yeah, I got a morale for this guy. So, lost two models. It should be good on seven. Okay. Yep. So, cool. And that's it. All Actually, right. you know, I have one more morale to take. Uh, did he Which, lose any models? No, he did lose two. two he lost shooting. two models. Yep. That's so right. no matter what, he should be fine. All right. Because he's leadership eight. Oh, so wow. Fancy. He's all good. Nice. Cool. I guess bomber turn two, Astro Militar arm two and two. So we actually forgot a couple things. We've got my attacks back. Uh, we've got my attacks back for the tank and the Bulgrin. Didn't do anything. <laughs> Every uh, little bit counts. I know, I know. But we also forgot my attacks back with the Bulgrins over here. So you consolidated into me at the end of your fight phase. Yes. Uh, that means I would be able to hit you back. Mm -hmm. So I actually caused two damage on you, bringing you down to what 22. is that? Twenty-two. Perfect. Cool. So jumping into my movement then, um, I went ahead and pulled my Executioner out of combat because, you know, tanks don't like to be in combat. What? Bulgrin's going to stay in combat. Uh, my Torox moved off to the right over here, uh, kind of hiding a little bit. He can actually shoot this turn since he's not in combat. Yeah. Uh, my Valkyrie went ahead and zoomed forward there. My... That's pretty much it for Isn't shooting. There that oh, low, yeah, yeah, my, lone, my, guardsman. my lone guardsman's shuffling up. He's, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he's running away or if he's advancing. I don't know. He's a, <laughs> whatever it is, he's a hero. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, just consolidating the combat over here. Everything else pretty much stayed put. Not much left. Let's go ahead and get to it. Cool, cool. Cool. All right, so psychic phase. Cool. So first time using a cypher. Apparently you can smite in combat. That is just fine. Let's smite me, almighty smiter. Doesn't even go off. Oh. It doesn't even matter. Oh. Do All you right. want to re-roll it? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. So, shooting. Shooting. So, executioner can't shoot. Um, so, actually, the only valid thing. targets would be the crusader and the fire raptor. And the fire raptor, yeah. So... I think my Torox is going to go ahead and shoot, though. He's going to PPU. Yep. He's got auto. He's you said he got auto cannons, right? He has auto cannons. Those are, those are nifty things. Yeah. So strength, strength 7 works pretty well. So he did move, though. So minus 1 to hit. Hitting on 5s. Uh, shooting at your... What did you say? That Crusader. Was Night Crusader. All right. So 2 hit. Cool. Strength 7. Need 5s again. Nothing. Oh, Snake eyes. Dang. All righty. <clears throat> So, let's go ahead and do the quad auto cannon here. Shooting at your fire raptor. Fire raptor. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> um, I, I, my brain's been stalling out the know, whole time I know. too. The heavy bolters are gonna go into him too. Okay. Why not? All right. 
And then threes. Ooh. Oof. Not too hot. Oof. Only two. Toughness? Toughness. Sad. I think it was. Either way, I got a two and a three. So that's not going to do anything. Oh, OK. Um, heavy bolter. And on fives. Hey. And I need fives again. So one. All right. AP minus one. AP minus one. So four up, which I make. Got it. All right. So Wyverns. I haven't really done much for me this, this game. Definitely within range. They are still within their top bracket. So um, let's just do them all at once, right? They're, they're not going to. Yeah, they're, they're not the same profile. change. Yeah. yeah. So the both Wyverns, the, the mortars, are going to shoot into that guy. Oh I'm sure goodness. I won't kill him with one. And then ah. both of the heavy bolters are shooting into the water. OK. So 8d6. We'll just goodness roll them all at once. Gracious. So that'll be 8, 18, whoops, that was a 2, I promise. So that'll be 25. Nice oh, even number. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's do and this. It didn't do much last time, so we'll see. 25. This is just volume of fire. That's right. How, ma how many damage a piece do they do? It's only one. Okay. They're only strength 4, too, so, so I need 6s. But you could theoretically kill it outright if they all Theoretically. Were theoretically. All right. <laughs> Not gonna happen. And then fours. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Uh -huh. That was a three. <clears throat> Doo -doo. Can I just say that the symbol on these dice is beautiful? I know, man. They came down very good. Chess X. Chess right here. Heck yeah. All right, and then warning on sixes. Okay. But we rolled. Nice. Oh, we got three. Ooh. Y you said re rollable, right? Re roll. So this, yep. this, some magic will happen here, I'm sure. Hopefully. Hey, hey. Three more. that's pretty good. Double your flavor. Yeah, six of them. All right, AP? AP dash. AP dash, all right. So three up armor, which I failed three. Look at that. So that you said one damage a piece? One damage a piece. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to, all right, I need to be consistent. So he's down to 21. Cool. All right, and then the heavy bolters. Do you fly over there, hitting on fives? Not bad. Nice. That's really nice. Wounded on fives. Two. Nice. All right. Minus one. OK. So this is a four up. Both failed. Wow. So they are, they are one damage apiece, though, right? That's correct. OK. All right. So my Valkyrie is going to go ahead and shoot now. Uh, so how many wounds does your fire have? He has 10 he wounds has like remaining. 10 left. So if I shot with the last cannon at him, it would be minus two, right? Everything I shoot at the Valkyrie would be minus two from right. the Valkyrie. Right? Going for it, man. Going for it. All right. Last cannon at him. Give me a six. Ah, oh, so close. So close. That was really close. Yeah. 2d6 with the multiple rocket pods. Seven. Seven shots. All right. Missiles sailing across the yeah, air. That's right. It's In just, glorious dogfighting combat. It's too fluffy not to do it. <laughs> Give me sixes again. Just one. One six to hit. Uh, strength five. Uh, T toughness six. At least. So I need five. Oh, okay. All right, worth a shot. Um, I think that's pretty much it for my shooting. I got a couple pistols, but they can't really do anything. Cool. Close combat. All what right. Do you say? Do I don't think up. I have any charges, you know? There are no charges. <laughs> I, the, this guy over here, is he within a foot? Just, just for the I, purposes of seeing. I get the feeling I don't want to charge him. You could make it I, if I you could wanted make it. to. Could make it. Nah, so he'll, he'll sit tight. He'll That's sit okay. Tight. That's probably a reasonable choice. That's right. He's just so brave, though. All right, so I'm gonna do my Bulgarians over there first. Cool. So they get plus one attack from the Minister and Priest that's behind them. All so right. they would get uh, five for the Bonehead, and then four each for each of the regular Bulgarians. Cool. Hitting on threes. Hitting on threes. Pretty good. Hey. A goodly number. Uh, these are going to be strength seven for sure. T8 to five. Fives. Oh, that's pretty good too. Look at that. They're getting the work done this turn. Four, six. All right. AP? AP minus one. AP minus one. All right. So fours. All right. All I right. take three. So that's three. six damage. damage too. Yep. Damage two. So six damage total. I'll just take off one of those nifty marking D6s. Cool. Cool. 
Alrighty. Next, I think it will be your activation. All right, my activation. All right. Um. So, for the sake of logic, we're going to go over here to the Atropos. All right, makes he's, sense. He, yeah, gonna, you might as well kill him before he before he gets his yeah. chance to hit back. So, we're going to go Titanic feet on him. There's no point in using a last cutter when he has an invulnerable save. Yep. So that's uh, four attacks with three hits apiece, so 12 attacks total. Loop hitting on fours. Get the feeling that's a dead, dead bullgrin. Oh, wow, that was actually a shocking number of hits. Okay, so uh, eight versus five. T5, T5. So threes. threes it is. Give me them threes. Loop. Four. Four. Four wounds, AP right. minus two, but he's four ups. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. He is dead. All right. All right. So the only thing left, left to activate is your other knight. All right, so knight will activate. Similarly, little sense in using the actual knight weapon. He did not charge, so he only gets, quote unquote, only gets four attacks. <laughs> quote so. unquote. Right. All so right. same pro same profile. So the only he's hitting on threes instead of four. Sure. Because he's he's not as sad as the other one. Holy lemons! That's a lot of misses. Okay. Uh, okay. That's me. It's me. That's all right. Meh. So so same thing at eight versus seven. Yep. So threes. Oh no! Eight versus five. Sorry. Oh, it's eight versus threes. five. Right. Still, still threes. threes. Okay. Yep, cool. Yep. So that's five wounds. Sure. Show me a bunch of four ups. What damage are these? Uh, these are D3 apiece. They're D3 apiece. One goes through. One goes through? All right. That's correct. So you have one that's injured, right? I do. All right. So give me a two. Two. Yep, that takes him out. All right. Cool beans. All right, that means I will have to take a morale as well. So any combat? Uh, do I can consolidate the Atropos, right? Oh, it's going to be my turn. I'm just going to leave him there. Okay. We're not going to do All anything right, tricky. Sure. All right, end of combat. Uh, the Bulgren? They're not going to fail. Yeah. So. Definitely yeah. not there. Definitely not on one. Okay. Cool. That's the end of my turn. All right. Going to the top of turn three. All right. Sounds good. All right. Top of turn three. I already have the movement done. I'm going to start over here with the fire raptor because our brave, brave pilot was about to disengage from combat like a fool. <laughs> so he just engaged his hover jets and is gracefully gliding this all direction right, all right. to try to be useful. Uh, the Lancer has backed up out of combat with the brave Bulgrin to be under the bubble of the void shield. Makes sense. So, so hopefully... Get those shots in. Right, yeah. So something, something will happen there. Yep. The Atropos over yonder, it just sort of stood still. He doesn't really have any need to move yet. Yep. And the Crusader over here has shimmied over to the side slightly so it can see our brave lone guardsman okay. who is charging towards the Valkyrie. Yeah. All right. All right, cool. So that's the end of my movement. Uh, psychic phase, still no psychic phase. <laughs> Wouldn't it be crazy if there were psychic knights? I don't I, know, man. It seems like it'd be probably overpowered. That would be just the Eldar have them. <laughs> oh yeah. Some yeah. of the some of their cool wraith knights. Either way, I All digress. Right. Um, so shooting, we'll start with the Atropos. All right. Over there, we're going to do Laz Cutter shooting profile into the Executioner. Sure. Makes and the sense. Graviton Singularity Cannon into the Hydra. I get the feeling you're gonna kill him. I, All right. I mean, that's that's kind of the plan. That's the plan. But I I have to hit on fours. I really have to hit on fours. Right. This has really got to hit. Come on, do me some good. I'm gonna spend that command point. <laughs> and do it again. And, and yeah, there's the four. There's, yeah, the, there's four. the four. All right. All right. Okay. So I just need to double check the strength of the shooting profile since I've hit with it like not at all. Yeah, because you missed hitting into the executioner last round. Yeah, I know. That's why yeah. I was just like, yeah, come yeah. on, man. All right. uh, so that's shockwaves. So the strength on the shooting profile is 12. 12, yeah. So you're wounding on threes. Yeah, so it's just threes. All right. So it's uh, threes. Here uh, you go. There it is. Threes. AP minus four. And you're fully within it, so that's just going to be a dead tank. All right. 
Dead so, tank? I'm not even sure what damage it is. He it's only has sick. one left, so. Um, does he explode? That's a real question. Everything's been exploding, and he does not. No. <laughs> I was really scared. I'm like, he doesn't have as many wounds left as I would like. Now, here's the interesting thing about the shooting profile on the Atropos Last Cutter. If an attack with this weapon slays an enemy vehicle or a monster unit in the shooting phase, you may immediately make another attack against a separate target within range. Oh. This bonus attack does not generate further attacks. All right. So you get one more attack with it. So huh? I get one more attack with the last cutter. Cool, cool. So, so I'm assuming you're going to shoot my Hydra? No, I'm going to shoot the Psyker. Oh! <laughs> oh! All right. So it. we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So four up still. Does not make it. All right. All right. So on to the Graviton Singularity Cannon. Uh, does anything interesting happen? Nope. All right. Normal. Uh, hitting on fours. <laughs> wow. He whiffs out into the aether. Even at full, he wow. would have just whiffed that. That's OK. You did work, buddy. All right. So we'll move to the Lancer. Sure. So Shock Lance shooting profile into the Bulgrins. All right. So hitting on threes. Uh, six versus five. Yep. So threes. That is four, four wounds, AP minus one. All right, four ups here. Ooh, two go through. They're Let's only see. one damage. Piece. One damage? Okay. So one of them has a wound left. Okay. Cool. So that's all for that Oops. shooting. Now. Let's move. Let's go to the Crusader. I've been hopping back and forth, so sure. pardon me. Uh, we're going to put both heavy stubbers into the Lone Guardsman. What? He's not. He's not harming anybody, man. What, what are you doing? But he is a tactically sound individual. I guess so. I, I have so. to give him that. He's running over towards one of those objectives. <laughs> Can't have that happening. So both heavy stubbers into him. The uh, rapid fire battle cannon into the Hydra. Okay. And we'll do the uh, Avenger Gatling cannon as well. Sure. So we'll start with the heavy stubbers, see what happens. All right. So we're hitting on threes. Oh, man. That's, that that's one dead hits. guardsman. Wounding on threes. Yep. There's no AP. Mm. So that's three wounds. Ooh. Five ups, man. Five ups. Five ups. Oh, oh, I thought I was going to have it for a second there. Oh, oh man. He's dead. All right. All right. Okay. Cool. Rapid fire battle cannon, 2d6 shots. That is five shots. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. We'll just take it. We'll just, yeah. Uh, so hit on threes. And I'd like those sixes to be on the wounding phase. Yeah. Wounding on, uh, it's toughness seven, right? I'm sorry, which one? The, is? Uh, the Hydra. The Hydra? T6. T6. All right, so T6. still threes. Still threes. So that is three wounds at AP minus two. But right. you get the Void Shield. Ooh, I do get the Void Shield. All right. Four ups. Nope. So two go through. What's uh, the damage on? I think it's D3. Yeah, D3 damage a piece. So it's two that went through? Two that went through. All right, so 2d3 damage. That is five damage. He is down to six. All right. Uh, and then the Avenger Gatling Cannon, which is 12 shots. 12 shots, yeah. So 12 shots hitting on threes. Wow, good roll, man. Wow, okay. That was slightly yeah, unexpected. Man. So this is strength six, I believe. So these are fours. Okay, sure. Oof. Not bad. All right. Probably pretty average. Yeah, that actually that was that was essentially yeah. right on average. Okay. All right, so void shield. Ooh, three go through. Uh, that's just one damage piece. Sure. So he's down to three. What else you got? But they are two damage apiece. Oh! He's gone. All right. All right. Does he it, explode? Does he explode? Nope. Oh, man. That's like everything else has been exploding. All right. Um, so then, Fire Raptor Gunship. 
Uh, choo -choo. That is a point for you as well. Hydro is a... Hydro is heavy support. Oh, okay. Heavy support. Okay. So the executioner was not, though. He was H HQ. He's a really fancy HQ. A really fancy a HQ. Plasma cannon. That's right. I like those HQs. So, so over here, the fire raptor is remaining. We're going to go with both twin Hellstrike missile launchers into this wyvern right here. The wyvern? OK. Yeah. The Avenger Gatling cannons into the Bulgrins. OK. One quad bolter, quad heavy bolter, into the priest back here, the Minostorm priest. Ooh, all right. And then the other quad bolter into the Bulgrins. Makes sense. All right, so I'm going to start with the first quad heavy bolter. OK. So that is 12 shots. Into the priest, right? Into the priest. All right. Uh, hitting on threes. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And it's strength five versus toughness three. Yep. Uh, so threes. Bloop, 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 bloop. Four <laughs> like wounds. <laughs> right? This, this is the sound that bolters make when they are trying to hit things. They make bloops. <laughs> All right, so I do have rosaries. Oh, nice. Which is good. So that will give me, it should give me a four up and Yeah, it should be a four up and bone. So. Which is nice. What this means is that everyone should be a priest. Ooh. Holy moly. So they one damage each? Well, yeah, they're just one damage piece. Awesome. Goodness gracious, he's still alive. Yeah. This is the power strong. of faith in action. Faith in the God Emperor it's of mankind. Faith, man. <laughs> cool. All right, so then we'll move on to the other quad heavy bolters into the Bulgrins who are also pretty tanky. So this is hitting on threes. Wow, so many shots. Yeah, they, it's 12. That's nasty. Threes, so uh, those hit wounding on fours. OK. So this is five versus five. Yep, T5. So fours only party. And that is five wounds. Cool. AP minus one. But right, four up. Cool. Two go through. Two go through. So that's just one damage piece. One damage each. Uh, enough to kill one. All right. And put two in the other. So then the Avenger one. Gatling cannons over there. Ten shots. Freeze. Oh. Oh yeah. Ooh. Okay. Well, a little bit less than that. Uh, actually, considerably less than average. Who am I kidding? Uh, that's six versus five, so yep, three. So three again. Ooh, two. two. All right. Assuming four up again. And one goes through. The damage on those, I'm pretty sure, is just one. Avenger bolt. Two. Two, two. damage apiece. Oh, man. Took them out. Why not charging you flyer too? <laughs> That's right. It's yeah. in hover mode. Yep. He can yep. be charged. Yep. Good golly goodness. And who knows what that priest is going to do? <laughs> Wild ad man. Uh, all right. So that is. I have. I already shot with my lancer, right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, he already shot. Yep. So, into the assault uh, phase. All right. Cool. So we're going to. Hmm. This, this guy, the Crusader, is going to stay still. OK. The Atropos is also going to stay still, because I kind of need to hold on to that objective. Actually, no. We're going to charge the void, the void Shield Generator. Sure. And then the Lancer is going to charge both those, right? Both of them. Yep, so he's yeah. going to. Makes perfect sense. So he's going to declare yeah. a multi-charge on them. Yeah. So I'm ready to get. Cool. Really, really overwatched. So you are four inches away here. So you might as well roll. OK, that so one. I'll roll I can't for that do one. anything with that one. Yeah. And then you're obviously one inch away there and three inches so away from the So made other. an eight inch charge on the Atropos. I think you're in. What? Cool. OK. And then the other overwatches, right? Yes. So I will do the heavy bolters first. OK. One hit. All right. Nothing. And then 8d6. Running through a lot of fire to get there. Wow, three sixes. 18, 
Wow. 20. 30. 34. Oh, goodness. I, I can't that's, be. That's a lot of shots. I can't be unhappy about that. How many again? 34. 34 shots. Oh, I guess dice better here. in Overwatch than normal, I guess. Right. So here's 25, and now I'll do 9. Okay. Show me sixes. Three. <laughs> oh. All right. I'll just shove it aside. Two, three, four. Do they reroll failed hits? No. Ah, oh, they used to. They used to be twin linked. Okay. Right. Now they reroll failed wounds. Oh, failed wounds. Yep, That's yep. what they reroll. Okay. Yep. Nothing else. No. Okay. Just three. Now All I right. Need sixes again. One. Hey, there's one. AP dash. And then you reroll the failed wounds, right? Oh, I do. I do. Thank you. No, ah. still just one. All right, so three up. Maybe. All right. So out of those 34, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh. So. I don't see if I can make it into range of both of them. I have seven inches to work with. I think yeah, that's you got sufficient. It. You got it. Yeah, so it, if this were some sort of cool game, video game looking thing, he would do some sort of cool pivot on one foot and go around for it. And just shimmy. But as it is, we got some shimmy, shimmy, shake, shake. There you action. go. Cool. Very nice. All right. So, uh, charging is done. Combat. We're going to start with over there. With sure, the, the Lancer. Yeah, the yep. All right. I, for some reason, I'm having so much trouble hanging out <laughs> to their name. I apologize. Yeah, it's a weird name, right? All right, cool. So, we got five attacks. We're going to use the Lance profile on okay. this. Three attacks into the one on the Knight's right. So the one farthest away from the void shield. Okay. And then two attacks into the other one. Okay. So we'll start with the three attacks. This is hitting on threes, re-rolling misses because of the lance on the charge. Okay. So there's all hits. And it's strength 14. Wow. Yeah, so you need twos. Twos. All right. Wounding on twos, re-rolling fails. They all wound. AP minus four. Woo! All right. So... How many damage each? A six a piece, so that's 18 damage. Oh my gosh, that's right. Oh, I gotta roll, see. So just roll for the other one. All right, so we'll just roll for the other one. Threes, twos. So that's 12 damage on the other one. Let's see if they explode. They don't. Okay. That's rough. That is rough. That thing is nasty, man. All right, go ahead and put your attacks into the void shield. Okay, all right, so here. Uh, I just need to double check the way that this works. So, here, reroll failed hit and wound rolls against monsters, buildings, and vehicles. Whoa, that's good. Okay. So, buildings as well, huh? Yeah. Okay, so, cool. That, that one's good there. So, this is fours. Um, Rerolling failed hits. So that's three hits, and it's strength 14 versus toughness eight. Correct. So this is threes. Rerolling failures. So that is three wounds at AP minus four. So what's the damage? 18 total. What? Because it, it's, it's the primary oh. knight weapon, it's six apiece. Oh my god. I, there, there's no way that Void Shield even has a save. I don't, I don't think it has a save. I think you just wiped it out. The Void Shield starts off with 18. Oh, jeez. So you could charge in and wipe it out in one turn. Oh, goodness. He does, he does have a 4-up save, but what's your AP? Uh, my AP is 4. It minus yeah. 4. Yeah, you, you rocked it. Oh, goodness. Woo, buddy. All right. Wow. Does it explode? Does it have an explode rule? I don't think so. Oh. I think only if you're within it. Right. Oh, right. Yep. The knight is not currently yep. hiding out in the void. Yeah, chain. I don't think the knight can, can fit in there, so it does not, there's no explode rule. Okay. Whew. I've only had to remove this like one or two times from play. <laughs> oh, jeez. Generally, people ignore it. All right. All right. Wow. So uh, that, is, that is it for melee. Yeah, I have no morale to take or anything, so. Cool. Cool. Let's jump on to my... Uh, <laughs> Turn three. All 
All right, Ashmore Tarm, turn three. I think I'm gonna call it, man. All right, it's there, there's not much left. Um, so you know, I have my psyker here. He can't really do much, right? Maybe he can cause some smite. Uh, maybe get d6 wounds into him, right? Um, he could capture the objective at the end, but again, you get another round of shooting. You know, it goes to a couple rounds. I also have the Minister and Priest over here. He's sitting near objective two. Uh, again, he's not going to do much damage, T3, Strength 3, right? Um, my Valkyrie, though, can't take objectives. You know, the, the main strategy here would be to pretty much run out the clock and hurry up and run out objectives, but I think you just have too much firepower, man. The last thing I have here is my Torox, and I just don't think, you know, two, two auto cans are really going to cut it. So I think that's it, man. I think, I think we'll call it there. Right. Sound good? good? Yeah, good, good game, man. Good that was good. Game. Great list, it. man. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and wrap it up and go into the post game. All right. Post game, man. Good game. Josh, thank that you. Was, I really appreciate that it. That was impressive, dude. Your list is awesome. It, the, yeah, Those Forge World Knights, man. The, the Serastis Knights, they both look fantastic, mm -hmm. and, and they do work on the battlefield. Yeah. But honestly, in person, this is the first time I've ever really managed to see it. Because you had, well, yeah. at the start, I was actually really scared. Because you have some yeah. beast-looking tanks. There's a lot of shooting in that list. There's, yeah. And so I'm just like, what's going to happen? But they're yeah. specialized armor killers. Yeah. And so they managed to actually get in there. And then there were all those those uh, guardsmen at the I beginning. So, so the bubble wrap, I think, worked. I think it worked for a little bit, right? Yeah. It held out for a turn. You shot at them. You know, they, they actually stuck around for two turns almost. Yeah. Right? But then, as soon as you got through them, it was like, all right, dead, yeah. dead, when, dead. Once they were right. done. So the, some of the, the charges that the Lancer ended up making were just so good, run up on a Lehman Rust. I was just like, wow. Yeah, when you're, when you're causing six damage per wound, per wound, that is nasty. I mean, you saw you took out my battle tank in one go, right? And then you bumped into my Wyverns, took them out in one go, right? It's, yeah. They were made to kill tanks, right? They, like they, they, was, they were in, definitely. Yeah. Well, one thing I was super impressed by yeah. was the performance of the Void Shield, actually. Yeah. Cause, cause at, at the very start, there's this bubble wrap of guardsmen, and they all have four up invulnerables. That's amazing, Against right? knights. Yeah. I mean, it's like these, these two squads of stalwart guardsmen yeah. taking fire from multiple Imperial Knights and being like, come at me, bro. Exactly, and then and you just, get the Comstar in there, right? And yeah. Then, just pops one off, and then yeah. they just lose one. I mean, you only they're, failed they're still one there. morale check yeah. like the entire game. Yeah. So. so definitely, I think I think you're right. I think the Void Shield might be worth it. 190 points, four up in Vaughn. It's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. So cool. Yeah, I think, you know, obviously you have it. Um, you know, final points came down to 6-0. You know, obviously you would have had more with, you know, the objective of one, four, two. I mean, I think you would yeah. have just essentially tabled me, right? Um, yeah. But it was, it was a heck of a game, man. So yeah. Cool. It well, was thanks. good. Thanks for joining us today, well, man. Thank you. I'm yeah. really glad to be yeah, here. Yeah, we'll thank have you. to have you back. So, Purge the Alien, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good one.